YouTube saved our lives. I'm really thankful for YouTube at this moment, so I really appreciate it, YouTube. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I got up a little bit early this morning and started working on the stand for the saltwater fish aquarium setup. Bobby actually went out to do some shopping around and checking our local fish resources. We found out that we only have two local fish resources, Petco, PetSmart. PetSmart does not have saltwater fish. They do have saltwater stuff. Petco has a uh, saltwater fish, um, but that's it. So we're going to be kind of alone uh, in our city here in Texas with the whole saltwater thing. So we're getting a little skeptical. We're getting a little scared. We're getting a little paranoid, but I think we're still going to move forward with this project um how it turns out i'm really not sure so i hope you guys stick around uh, we're we just don't know enough about salt so guys guys please please there's going to be a ton of these videos coming out we got several months in the works um for this whole salt water thing leave me some comments give me some advice our goal is to build this eight foot aquarium stand with two 55 gallon setups and we're going to go with a Fowler setup with these two tanks so we're looking at about 110 gallons total we probably won't start off with a sump system so uh, you know give me some basic tips on what I need to do and what I don't need to do and uh, beginner mistakes that kind of thing we're moving forward with shelling this in and putting some skin on this so that it will be ready for a stain we might stain it today. I'm not sure yet. If not, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? See, the grind never stops here in Bubba's Garage. Bobby came back with a bunch of stuff for me to do. As you guys saw, I kind of got some progress done on the saltwater aquarium stand. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get started on the top part of that stand, but we'll see. Meanwhile, Bobby's got me tied up. Guess what she did, guys? You'll never believe this. She went out. She, You, you remember the movie wall, right? The, the movie wall. I'm looking at it. The movie wall. It's not the same anymore. She changed it again, guys. So she turned around and got another movie clapper. Like, how many movie clappers do we need, right? So now I have to hang another movie clapper. A chalkboard movie clapper. Like, I'm gonna crawl down there on my hands and knees and write on the chalkboard to clap. Huh. So now I gotta take some measurements to that and see what I can do about hanging that. See, things always change here in Bubba's Garage. You never know what we're gonna end up with. This is why you need to subscribe and stick around because it changes every day. you're gonna get in Bubba's garage. So I measured incorrectly, which is really bad because usually Bobby is really good at cross-checking, double-checking my measurements. I cross-check and double-check and I'm wrong every single time, I promise you. So now I got two holes in the wall. I gotta let that stuff dry. Then I gotta to touch it up, repaint it. That pink stuff is the putty patch feeler stuff. So now the new clapper goes over there and it's got to stay there for a little bit until I can get this cleaned up, re-sanded back up and re-patched up. Then I will put it back. Welcome to Bubba's Garage. You we'll always have a problem. So what I actually did to get those out was I unscrewed the screw, pushed the screw in 
unscrewed a little bit more, pushed it back in. Those are those metal anchors, you know. Um, and then I was able to put some needle nose on the head of the screw and wiggle it out. It did leave a fairly large hole, but not as bad as what it did in the studio that day when we had that problem. Bobby actually did some research and found YouTube saved our lives. I'm really thankful for YouTube at this moment, so I really appreciate it, YouTube. Again, this is Bobby's Garage. You just never know what you're gonna run into. We always kind of run into some obstacles. Bobby's working on her decoration stuff right now. Did you not put the river rock in there? Not yet. Okay. Well, those two don't look too bad. You think the river rock will look a layer, a couple layers of river rock? Sure. Have you ever done this before? Fill in these little cylinders and things like that with different things. I've seen them with sand, um, multicolor sand. They do the waves and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Um, we actually had a bunch of old fish rock that we've been setting aside, haven't used. And Bobby had the idea of adding the fish rock to, to the cylinders. So I think it looks pretty good. It's very interesting. It's funny, all the accents in the house are red. That stuff up there is blue. Check this out. Blue, purple, blue, blue. That's what happened to the rest of my river rock right there. They look pretty though. Well, you can't have everything red. Cause then you'll be like the matchy matchy person. I just want to be normal. Baby, huh. we're not normal. No, that's so very true. <laughs> The blue, white, and green would kind of tie to these. Sure. And I use the river rock to pull over too. Sure. And I put the little glass beads down here to add a little distinction between the layers. Does it look all right? I think it looks all right. I think it's missing peacocks. <laughs> Peacock blenders. Now I got to do blue touch up paint. So projects never in here. I, I haven't even finished the aquarium. Huh, I need more time. We haven't even finished painting. What are you talking about? What else do we have to paint? The office? Oh, we're going to do the orange in the studio. Guys, why didn't you tell me about this? I totally forgot, man. <laughs> Crap. I did. I really did. I forgot. Oh. Babe. I have no fingernails, man. I'm going to make the coffee pot. So, we're wrapping up this vlog today, guys. I greatly apologize. I've been off my vlog rocker for the past couple days. We've been really, 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 really busy. Of course, you can probably tell. Things are moving along really, really fast around here. If you guys like this vlog, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you really, really like this vlog and you want to stick around to see what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. Guys, tomorrow, I go pick up my ring. Stick around. Stick around. I go pick up my ring tomorrow. So definitely, definitely subscribe so you can check that out. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody.